I'm going to show you how I mix flesh colors. Um, right up here I have Roman Black, Ultramarine Blue, Nicosia Green, Raw Amber, Burnt Sienna, Alizarin Crimson, Genuine Vermilion, and Yellow Ochre. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two colors, Yellow Ochre and the Vermilion, and then I'm going to mix it together to create an orange. I'm going to use this for the deeper red-orange shadows on the skin. Okay, so next I'm going to go and grab some of this burnt sienna and I'm going to add some lead white. I'm using lead white number two and lead white number two has, uh, is made with walnut oil. It's just pigment, lead pigment and walnut oil and that's it. That's all that's in there. There's no fillers, nothing. So I'm just going to go and add a little bit more white in here. So that's burnt sienna. I'm just going to add a little bit more white. Okay. Okay, so next I'm gonna go and grab some white and I'm gonna mix up a little bit of raw umber here and kind of make a sort of a grayish well, I'm just gonna add a little bit more in there. And then I'm going to do the same with the Nicosia Green. I'm going to go and add white to that. I'll move this upright a little bit more. Excuse me, I might have bumped this camera a bit. So I didn't want to have that too much light bouncing on that green from the light behind me. All right, so there you go. So now I'm going to use the green to mix with, um, with the flesh tone. They're complementary colors. Uh, red and green are complementary colors. So um, this is how I would reduce the intensity of of the red would add green into it or to reduce the intensity of the green and add it red to it. So these are the flesh tones that I use and then um, I'm going to mix together some of this here. I'm going to add this in a little pile over here with a little bit of burnt sienna in it. I'll just have to go and mix up more burnt sienna but I just wanted to show you how I mix my flesh tones. I'm just going to add a little bit more white into this mixture. I really find it so convenient to have um, my palette right next to me. And these are for more of the orange or more orangey flesh tones. I painted her face yesterday and now I'm going to be painting um, her, her shoulders and her chest and her dress um, and her neck as well. So that's really, let me just move that up a bit. And then I'll grab some of this yellow ochre and I'll add some white to that. And where 
there she her skin tone is a little bit more yellowy I'll go and add that in I think I need more white and that's also for the very lighter areas and then I can just kind of blend it in with this a little bit if I need to add a little bit more yellow in there so so that's basically how I blend my flesh tones and um, I'm going to do one more blend here and that's for the skin tone that is pretty your skin is pretty grayish. It, I know it doesn't seem that way, but there's a lot of gray in skin. I'm going to be adding a lot of the raw amber and the green into the skin tone to, to gray it. Because you'd be surprised, um, you know, how, how gray the skin tone really is. Okay, so now I'm going to go and add a little bit of blue into this. Add a little bit more burnt sienna. I know it looks like a weird color right now, but I'll use that for the deeper shadows of the skin. And then I'll also use it for the very lighter lighter areas of the skin too. I'll make I'll make a mix of that of burnt sienna with ultramarine blue. I make a mix. And then I'll go and add white into that. Oops. I'll just grab a little bit of white. I ran out of white, but I have another palette next to me that I usually mix, do my mixes on, and then transfer it onto this. But you can see now I have a much a sort of a grayish color here that I'll mix into the into the flesh color to um, to paint sort of the inside of your skin here. This color over here. This yellowy color it doesn't look yellowy because I have the shadows on um, my arm is not properly placed but I mean you can have see the inside of your arm this is the color I'm mixing right now and then I'll just go and add some of these colors into that and then um, you know mix that in there so so basically that's how I mix my flesh tones <laughs> 